Season four of the Christian drama series, The Chosen, is in theaters now before it eventually will stream into your home. This morning, we're talking with actor Jordan Walker Ross, who plays Little James in the series, along with producer Chad Gunderson. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Of course, thanks for having us. This is yeah, fantastic. Jordan, your character is just precious. People may not know, but in real life, you have cerebral palsy and scoliosis, and that has actually been shown in your character. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, it, whenever I, I booked the role, it wasn't originally written as a character with any sort of disability. Um, but once I got the part and it became apparent that my limp was, you know, noticeable on camera, Dallas and our writers kind of determined that it was an opportunity to add layers to the character and it needed to be addressed anyway. You know, the fact that one of the 12 apostles that was following Jesus wasn't healed, at least in the context of the chosen. So, um, yeah, the, he, Dallas brought it to me and, and said, Hey, we'd love to make this part of your character which was terrifying to me at first because I had always, that had been the thing I felt like I needed to hide right. um, and cover up as an actor because it was detrimental to my career up to that point. Um, but I'm so glad that that they, they added that to the character because it, it helped me kind of shed some of those insecurities that I had in myself. And for the first time ever, I was able to just focus on the care, focus on the character and not not limping so um yeah it's just been the biggest blessing that i could have imagined i want to show a clip from last season as you and the disciples are going out to preach and to heal and you pull jesus aside to talk to him about your own personal healing take a look in the father's will i could heal you right now and you'd have a good story to tell yes yes that you do miracles and that's a good story but there are already dozens who can tell that story. And there will be hundreds more, even thousands. But think of the story that you have, especially in this journey to come, if I don't heal you. To know how to proclaim that you still praise God in spite of this. To know how to focus on all that matters, so much more than the body to show people that you can be patient with your suffering here on earth because you know you'll spend eternity with no suffering. Watching your expressions are so amazing, Jordan. What did that scene mean to you? It was incredibly uh, cathartic. You know, those were questions uh, and are questions that I, I have and still do struggle with at times. Um, you know, but getting to act that out, that, that was the closest to real life I've ever experienced, uh, you know, working in a scene for a show, um, because I, I related to everything little James was saying, it hit so close to home. Um, but the, the big impact for me was after the scene was released, um, just the flood of, of comments and messages and emails and letters that I've gotten from fans of the show that are also members of the disabled community. Right. And it, in the same way that scene kind of is Jesus explaining to little James that he does belong in this group, that he does have a place. Um, having that flood of, of messages and support from people that are in this amazing community uh, showed me that I also do have a place and I do belong. And uh, it's it was just, you know, that scene in particular, the whole show, but that scene in particular truly did change my life. Chad, season four is in theaters. I just saw it myself. You guys are uh, uh, revealing these as opposed to streaming them. They're in the theaters, at least for now. What's the thought process behind that? Well, what TV show goes into movie theaters? Right. I mean, what, it, it, it just continues to go with the trend of one of the sayings that we have on our show is get used to different. Um, and that's just something that we've continued to do. And, and with this show and what God's done with this show and the amazing people behind the show, but you know, from Dallas all the way down, um, amazing. And what we've just really found with our audience is what better place to experience something like this than with the crowd. Um, starting all the way back in COVID is when we first did our first theatrical 
people and we just realized that what a what a great way to bring the community back together to give people hope and so this season will be the first season season four will be the first season that we put every episode in theaters um and and it, it's been a ride um it's a very unique process because again you just don't put tv tv shows in theaters and so um you know uh, the the first three episodes uh, were the first couple weeks of february uh, the second uh, three episodes will be the the second two weeks of february and then we'll wrap things up with episode seven and eight uh, at the beginning of march so we're excited for everybody to experience it um, and the reception already has been just really really unbelievable it's going to be remarkable i was so honored to get to watch it yesterday it is you know it, it's kind of like binging shows and i think now even though it's it sounds long at three hours and 27 minutes or whatever there is a quick break in there so that people can get up stretch your legs run the restroom and get back we have kind of become that part of our culture i want to watch something i'm into it i'm going to stay with it till the very end and so i do highly recommend season four in theaters now with more to follow and i look forward to it eventually streaming on on our platforms thank you guys so much for taking time to be with us jordan it's really an honor please extend our appreciation to the cast and crew for doing a show like this that's just remarkable and chad for your involvement and in, in continuing to produce faith-based um, movies and programming that we can all enjoy thank you yes thank you so much for having us awesome